Watch this video if you're starting to plan your wedding and are absolutely confused about what budget to set aside. Hi, my name is Regina and this is my vlog where we're talking about wedding planning. Today I'm going to break it all down for you, so if you watch this video till the end, I promise you, you will live more educated and knowledgeable about this topic. So you're planning your wedding and you hear that the weddings are expensive, but expensive means different things to different people. And you are not sure if the number you are setting aside is actually doable, which makes it very uncomfortable discussing pricing with vendors and venues. Or you may think that you have a very big budget and you just don't want to be taken advantage of. I'm going to tell you exactly how to decide what budget to allocate for your dream wedding and not feel uncomfortable when talking about this with the wedding professionals. This is a typical breakdown of how you'd want to allocate your budget to different parts of your wedding. Pause if you need to screenshot it. You can customize it to your liking if let's say some things are more important than the others. You may choose not to pay for invitations or maybe not have a wedding planner, which I actually recommend against and not just because I am one but because it really is a lot of work. Keep in mind that the pandemic has significantly affected some areas especially flowers. Flowers no longer cost as they used to, so just keep that in mind because they're a little bit more expensive. I specialize in weddings in Las Vegas and Hawaii, and I'm not quite familiar with the pricing in other markets. However, I will be happy to give you a general idea how much an upscale wedding would cost. This is not going to be a high-end wedding, but it's also not going to be a wedding on a budget. An upscale venue will expect you to spend between $100 and $250 per person that will include their venue fees, catering and bar. By the way, keep in mind these venues do typically require you to go with their catering and bar so you won't be able to bring your food and drinks. Let's make it an average of $175 per person and that will include a typical 23% service fee and let's just say Nevada sales tax of 8.375%. And to save us time, here's the full breakdown and total budget that you should consider for that type of wedding. I suggest pausing the video to screenshot it and I will also put it in the description below. Now with that information, you can decide which route to take. Are you comfortable spending $35,000 on your wedding? Should you maybe consider decreasing your guest count? Would you like to include travel arrangements in your budget? This will be all up to you. The next step will be interviewing vendors and venues that do fall within your budget considerations. I would suggest starting with a wedding planner because a good wedding planner will save you lots of time, they will provide you with great expertise and also eliminate any guesswork so you don't get overwhelmed before you even started the booking process. I hope this was some valuable information. Please like and share if you would like to see more content like this. My name is Regina. I'll see you in my next video.